hello everyone it's me again Omotola um, thank you for watching if you actually watched my previous post I appreciate it um, I just want to talk a little bit about my experience when I came over to United States um, briefly I remember when we came in I came with my kids my husband and we came in with a little bit of money and I have this mentality while coming over to the United States where what we see in the movies like you know you have um, the train you have the buses that go around I thought it's like that in every city and every state in the United States so where I got into first when I came in here from the hair in dollars was in Richmond community um, the Richmond city um, when I got there this particular area we're living at doesn't have the public transportation to get there so um, but thank you like I was saying to my brother I had him even he's going through dialysis three times in a week he was very very helpful to um, take me over to where we're going to bottom of the story is that you know we had this mindset of coming over here so the money we brought in I saw all the malls I was happy um, KFC was good um, McDonald's Burger King and my kids were young so we all had this they've seen all this thing so they wanted to have a feel of everything so if we have the feel of everything we're spending the money we brought in um, little as it is or as much as it is um, to buy clothes to heat food to go to the mall um, just to pick some things it was a nice time but really we were not planning towards Hago because the first Yes, you're going to be staying in here. I bet you it's a bit, bit rough. I don't know if you have a lot of money in Nigeria before coming over, but if you actually have just a minimum, like some thousands of dollars before coming in here, and then you're thinking of a place to stay, you're thinking of getting your foot um, set um, in here, it, it takes a lot of planning. But what I'm saying is, I was just to share my experience. What I'm saying is that we didn't sit a long time ago. We were like happy to be here. In the United States, we had um, all the malls and everything, like I said. So we're just eating, we're just buying stuff. We're not planning to us it then. It got to a stage that, you know, after the first one month, before you get all your papers and everything, and the green card and social security, um, before you settle down and start even looking for somewhere to work or a school or a training to do, um, it takes a while so the bottom line is uh, we've depleted most of the money that we brought in buying what is not necessary and unfortunately unfortunately for me the area where i'm staying doesn't have um, the public transportation so um we bow down to we need to get a car for ourselves because no matter how nice people are over here to help you to move around to your sisters your siblings everybody has work to do everybody has responsibility you have to be on time at work and you know in the united states you have to work to get money i mean and you have to work for your hours to get the money so that's that um so no matter how much people wants to help um even me right now if you're coming in and then i need to help or be of help to you it takes a while because i can only do it for a few times so I, you have to like arrange your movement to the time when I'm free or when a person is free to be able to like move you around. So that's been said. So come to the time we had to like get a car. Unfortunately, we depleted all the money so we brought in because um, we're buying all the stuff. What I'm saying is when you come in, in, just make sure that you had a plan. You've set aside what will be necessary. There will be times to buy things, times to enjoy. You can do it in moderation. But probably I didn't just put that into consideration that you won't have people that will be moving you around. Transportation is easy. It's good when you have places that has public transportation and then you can move around. But it's just that where I am, which I didn't put into consideration, was that there was no, um, there was no public transportation there. So that being said, when you're coming over here and then you have some money, make, please make plans on how you want to move around, what you want to do. Um, it's not except when you except with people coming over here that already had a good job waiting for them here or already had a job in here. If you you good, bright, beautiful, but even at that before you get your first pay salary or something or the two weeks it takes like three weeks before they pay you your first pay check, you still have to survive on something. So, but for for people like me in my experience, 
I was a nurse back home in Nigeria. Um, so coming over here, I didn't really know I'm going to come in when I came in. So I, I, I didn't process my certification and um, certification evaluation with CGFNS, which with everything. So I had to start that doing that when I am here. You know how difficult it is before you could get your school to get somebody to get to your school, get your certificate, get your transcripts, get it evaluated. It takes a while. So, and I had kids that had to go to school. Bottom line of all this is that was, that's another story for another day. Bottom line about the car thing, what I'm saying. So I had to like, it got to a stage whereby it was kind of December, pretty cold, and my boys had to go to school, um, and I didn't have so 